I work, work primarily on leaf spot diseases caused by a couple of fungal pathogens and tomato spotted wilt virus spread by thrips. Some of the fungicide work we're doing on the on leaf spot control is for what's, what's effective, what's, um, what's not effective any, anymore. Uh, we're, we've, we're having some trouble with tebuconazole's insensitivity in our leaf spot pathogens. Uh, working with combinations to overcome that and still make use of the tebuconazole for, for control of white mold and rhizoctonia. We, we've got good results with mix, mixing tebuconazole and chlorothalonil or, or uh, uh, thiophanate methyl and um, still controlling the leaf spot. Also looking at uh, combining reduced applications of fungicides with some of our, our uh, moderately resistant peanut varieties. We, ha we actually have a, a couple of peanut varieties with a um, medium maturity, um, maturity similar to that of Georgia Green, um, Georgia O3L and, and TIFGARD uh, in that same maturity class, but have a, a moderate level of resistance to the leaf spot pathogens in addition to their resistance to uh, tomato spotted wilt virus, and in the case of TIFGARD, uh, the root knot nematode resistance. Looks like with both those varieties, we can cut our, our fungicide applications from a, from a standard of six or seven uh, down to four or five without um, really sacrificing leaf spot control or, or sacrificing any on yield. We've, been, we've had similar results with the later maturity varieties for several years, but uh, these were the first medium um, maturity varieties we've, we've been able to do that with. So that's, that's exciting.